Hey guys, welcome to Gromit. In this video, I will share the Jan 2024 questions. So, uh, not exactly the questions, but the topic on which the question were asked. After watching this video, you will get the idea about the high yield topics. So, in this video, we will look at the anatomy. The questions might not be repeated, but the topics, these are very important because the topics will be repeated. It will be like from one topic, uh, last year, they would have asked one question and uh, from the same topic they can ask another question so the topics will be important not the pyqs so let's look at those topics now one by one so there was a question on this anatomical snuff box anatomical snuff box a very important topic every year the question is repeatedly asked on this topic so this year the question was asked on the boundaries the medial boundary which was the epl extensor pollicis longus and it was an image question they had given an image and asked the boundary so in the earlier exams, uh, the question was asked also on the content of the anatomical stuff box, which is the radial artery. And also the questions can be asked on the scaphoid bone, uh, which will be fractured when there is injury to the snuff box. So uh, anatomical snuff box, a very important topic. Then moving on to the next topic, the cross section of the heart was given. Okay, it was also an image based question. Uh, the image of the heart was given and a chamber was labeled. So you, you had to identify which chamber was labeled. Either it was left atrium, right atrium. Okay. Then the next question, uh, the next topic, vertebral levels. Vertebral levels also very important topic because uh, questions are asked on this topic also. So this year they had given an image of the transpyloric plane and asked the vertebral level of this. Then the next image, anencephaly, which is a neural tube defect. Neural tube defect. Image was given and asked that anencephaly occurs due to defect in the closure of the anterior neuropole. So whenever the anterior neuropole does not close properly, then we can see the anencephaly. So neural tube defect also a very important topic. Either anencephaly will be asked or spina bifida, meningomyelocele, these all can be asked. Okay. Then next question was asked on the flexor carpi radialis so the tendon of the flexor carpi radialis was marked and it was also an image based question the lesser trochanter of the femur uh, image was given of this one okay and they had marked the lesser trochanter and in the options it was given that which muscle inserts here so the answer was the psoas major this is also a very repeated topic then the next topic on, ph on phallus seal this also image was given so image was given and directly asked what is the following then uh, along with that gastroschisis is also a very important topic okay so it will be due to the so fellow seal and the gastroschisis these are the abdominal wall defect so the next topic has in back triangle so question was asked on its boundaries i think the lateral boundaries and the answer was the inferior epigastric vessels so so it becomes important for you to look at all the boundaries of the Hasselbeck triangle. The next topic, the joint. Every year joint from joints, one question is asked. So it is a very important topic. This year the question was asked between the first metacarpal and the trapezium. As you can look in the image here, this image was given and asked which type of joint it is. Okay. Likewise, they can ask the joint between the radius and the ulna, the pubic symphysis. Okay. So joint, a very important topic. Then next question was asked on the common carotid artery palpation. Where do you palpate the common carotid artery? So it is palpated against this vertebra C6, uh, which is a level of the cricoid cartilage. Then conjoint tendon. A question was asked, giving a few lines about it and you had to choose the correct answer about the conjoint tendon. Then next, diaphragm. Diaphragm also very important topic. Uh, so this year, the question was asked on its embryological derivatives. The dorsal mesentery. The dorsal mesentery gives which parts of the diaphragm. Okay. So let's look at the images also. This is the image of the anencephaly. Then this image is of the omphalo C. Okay. As you can see here, the abdominal contents are covered with the membrane. Okay. Then uh, this is the image of the anatomical snuff box. Okay. So anatomical snuff box, a very, very important topic. Then uh, this image, at, as we had discussed, of the joint then moving on this iliopsoas insertion the lower trochanter and iliopsoas muscle is inserted here then this image you can see here the flexor carpi radialis tendon this one here which is near to the thumb then uh, which is in the middle it is the palmaris longus tendon and which is here towards the little finger the flexor carpi ulnaris 
So in the future exam, either of this can be asked, like a palmar pendant can be asked, or flexor cartilage ulnaris can be asked. So it becomes very important to know the topic and to read the, all the points from the topic which were asked in the previous year. So this is not a recall video guys, it is just a video on the high yield topics which you must learn for the upcoming exam. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find this useful and it will help in your preparation for the July FMG. Okay, like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to GrowMed. Also tap the bell icon so that whenever I post a video, you will be notified. Thank you guys. Bye bye.